Hi everybody, AZ Badfish here, and welcome back to another episode of So You Wanna Play Modded? <laughs> so, I know I've said every single episode that I'm thinking this is gonna be a short episode, you guys, but this time I really, really mean it. So, we've got our base basically set up, yeah? We've got some power going, we've got, we've got our smeltery going, we've got some basic stuff, and we're about to start building, but we want to protect ourselves, and we'd like an easy way to get home. Well, today I'd like to talk about a nifty little mod called FTB Utilities. And uh, if you hit your E key and you open up your character screen, basically, you might notice all these little buttons up here on the top left. Now, these buttons here, all these toggle modes and stuff, this is all because I'm in creative, so you're probably not gonna have this. Um, but what I wanna point out is a few things. So the first thing you're gonna wanna know about is the teams. If you type in to your uh, uh, GUI or, uh, man, it's still early. <laughs> if you type in your chat uh, slash team GUI and hit enter, you will see that um, I am on a team. Now, if I exit this team, uh, because I've already done this for myself, if you if you do it the first time uh, when you log in, you might see something like this. Create a new team. Well, we're gonna name it AZ Badfish and we're gonna make it purple. And I'm gonna hit accept. Now, I'm part of AZ Badfish's team. Now, that's pretty important. If we click on settings here, we're gonna be taken to this big settings menu. I wanna point out these guys on the bottom. So, enable in explosions and claim chunks is set to false. That is super cool. What that means is when you claim a chunk, that a creeper, well, it can explode. Things can actually explode, but they won't break any blocks. You will take damage, uh, so if a creeper blows up right next to you in your claim chunks, nothing will get destroyed, but you might still die. So that's important to keep a uh, note on. Um, and then some settings here for interacting with blocks in your claim chunks, basically. Right now, it's set to allies, which is cool, because uh, I'm on a single player, There's there are no allies. But if I am on a multiplayer uh, and we have teams, I can set specific people to be allies. I can make it members of my team. I can make it nobody can do, or there is no requirement. So I think that means it'd be open to everybody. So we're gonna leave this set to ally. And um, I don't actually see, I'm pretty sure accept. <laughs> you wanna make sure if you make any changes, you click accept. Now, because I'm on a, in a single player world, there was no options to make people allies, but I'm pretty sure uh, in here, there in the team GUI, there's a way to do that. So I'm gonna hop over to a multiplayer world real quick and uh, we'll take a look at that. All right, guys, so we're here on the Craftonomical SMP and we've got a series on this, but uh, I wanted to show you guys real quick, if I type in slash team GUI here, I got a much bigger list because I'm on a server now and I can set members of my team. Uh, and I don't think I've made, actually, I think I'm, I'm, no, no, these are all set to ally. That's what the blue means. And the gray means they are nothing. <laughs> so what I like to do is I, I like to go in and make sure that everybody is, is an ally. So I click here, click here, click here, click here. Everybody's an ally. And although it says member, I don't think they're actually members of my team because they've all got their own teams. <laughs> so that might have been a little bug or something like that. But now that's how easy it is to make people an ally. And the reason I like doing that is because you notice that the default settings, uh, and I've actually changed mine to none, so everybody can interact on, with me on this server, but the default settings were set to ally. So every time you reset the server or something like that, uh, well, not reset the server, but if we updated the server to a new version of the pack or something, this would go back to being ally. And uh, a lot of times you might forget to do that, but it will save your the people who are your allies. So that's important to know. All right, let's hop back over to the creative world. All right, so we're back here, and now we've got our team set up. We don't need to do anything else here, but you are saying it, that's how you set up how to interact with your claimed chunks. What does that mean? Well, if we click over here, there's this button that looks kind of like a map. It says claim chunks. If we click on it, it will show us a map of the area centered around ourselves. And uh, you can see right here, left click or drag chunks on the map to claim them, right click to unclaim, and then shift left click to load a claim chunk, shift right click to unload a claim chunk. So what I want to do is I want to claim all of these chunks around my base. So if we just click, left click and drag, we can highlight all these areas. And when I un 
unclick and I lift the button, it will show me, ah, all these clunk chunks are now claimed by me. So actually we can see that. If you could see on the mini map there in the top right, there's a little bit of a purple haze there. If I leave this area, it should pop up there. On the screen, it now says wilderness. And if we go back into it, easy bad fishes team. Now that's actually configurable. Uh, if you want to, I'm not, let's, let's see. I think it's actually a team GUI. Go into settings. And da, 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 da. Hmm. Interesting. I don't remember. I don't remember where to set that. Maybe it was in here. Close. Info. Unclaim. Nope. All right. Well, I know there is a way to change it. Uh, you might have to mess around with it and find it, but uh, <laughs> that's, that's that. Um, so what does it mean to load a chunk? If I shift left click and I and I pick a small area. Oh, shift, shift, why is that not working? Oh, it is working, it's just not showing it. See down here, it says loaded chunks now. I'm going to, uh, let's unload these chunks then. There we go, back to zero. So if I shift left click, it'll show this chunk is loaded. It should outline it in orange, but I think for some reason this version of the pack that I'm on, this is an older version um, in this creative world, I think. So. Yeah, it's just not working right, but it should outline in orange and that would mean that it's loaded and that's important for stuff like your grid power for your angel ring and stuff like that. You want to make sure that chunk is always loaded, whether you're in the area or not. A quick side note to loaded chunks. As far as I know, plants still follow the same rules. I could be totally wrong about this, but in vanilla Minecraft, even if you do a trick to load a chunk with like hoppers on the edge of it or something like that, you can uh, the plants will still not grow if you are not close enough to them. Uh, the general rule of thumb for plants is a player has to be close enough to be loading the chunks himself, whether or not it's still loaded. So I don't know if that counts for modded plants or not, but yeah, that might not work exactly the way you think. <laughs> so you've got your chunks claimed. You've got your chunks loaded. You're now safe from creepers. That's pretty sweet. What are some other things FTB utilities can do? Well, the other thing I want to talk about is the slash home and slash back functions. So if we are in our base and we pick a spot that we think is good, we can do slash set home and enter. And that sets this point this home point basically to this block right here so anywhere in the world in another dimension and you know thousands and thousands of blocks away it doesn't matter from wherever you are in the world now i can type slash home and it will teleport me back to that same block now i was creative and flying so it put me in the air but it'll put you on the ground uh on that block so that is really really handy uh something else that's really really handy is um if you die <laughs> if you die let's well let's uh i'm pretty sure that's right near spawn so let's come over here let's do game mode survival not not like that like that actually you know what i need first <laughs> you know what i need first i need to get a creeper egg let's do let's do this spawn creeper actually let me get two of them so we can show you the other thing. We'll do game mode, survival. Now I'll put this creeper here. Hey buddy. Oh, I'm dead, I got blown up by a creeper. Well, you spawn, well, <laughs> I guess I guess that was real spawn. But let's say that that wasn't right next to you and you spawn back in your base. You can now type slash back and it will take you to the last place where you died. And this is a gravestone. This is actually a separate mod. Uh, but if you've got the gravestone mod, this will hold all your items. All you have to do is break it and it will put them back into your inventory. So you've got my pick and my extra creeper egg back now. That's pretty sweet. So if we do slash home to go back to base, now we can, uh, we can test out this other thing. So, uh, this is going to kill me again, but I'm, I want to show you guys that it's not actually going to blow up any blocks. So now I'll type slash back again, and you can see here's my gravestone. All my stuff is still here, even the stuff that's in the table. So these chunks are protected from explosions, and that is pretty awesome. Uh, the only other thing I want to show you real quick about FTB utilities is honestly, I don't know too much about this stuff. I haven't messed with it too much, but uh, if you go into, there is this thing called trash can, and that's simply a trash can. So if you've got a bunch of junk, you can put it in here, 
and uh, I'll just show you. You can put it in here and take stuff out, and that's important because as soon as you close this, any items that are in here are gone forever. <laughs> so that can be pretty handy uh, if you've got a bunch of junk and you want to get rid of it quickly. So, uh, I hope you guys found this video informative. I know it's a pretty, bit of a quick one, but FTB Utilities, there's, there's some cool stuff to it. I'm sure I didn't cover everything, but that's the important stuff that I think people new to modded might be interested in knowing. So, if you did find it informative or if you liked the video, click like down below and leave me a comment. Uh, let me know if you've got any suggestions for other things you want to see me cover in this series. I had a bunch of links down there as well for... Uh, for my like social medias and streaming and videos and stuff like that, go check those out as well. And yeah, until next time, you guys, this is Hazy Badfish signing out. Bye-bye.